You're watching the Watch Fox Sports Zone. Solid arms with Courtney Kidd. Mike, if there's one thing the Tigers are good at, it's finding a way to win. They're not just 8-0 on the season right now. They're 16-2 in their last 18 close games, and that includes 5-0 for this season. I just couldn't stomach putting in a team at a number three spot, not because I host a Clemson show, but because they didn't even play last week. Wow. And it seemed that they actually kind of agreed with me. Coach, you guys started off hot with that pick six. Can you just tell me how big that was for your momentum? That was huge. Anytime. First time in 30 years the Clemson Tigers win on the road in a season opener, and they can thank their young defense for that. But Al over here decided with News Shanker, like news anchor, and then they said my nickname would be Shank. So news shanker. Yeah. <laughs> Are you saying there's a chance? There's, there's <laughs> always a chance. a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> Her mother is currently in Alabama right now for a firefighter competition. So it looks like strength runs in the family, Corey. Uh, the Wayne Train cover model now on ESPN Magazine. How has he been able to you know, handle all the... Um, you know, the media and then being on the covers and what have you seen from him, how he handles it. Well, Michael oh. Phelps actually announced his retirement on Saturday and you were part of a big moment with him. What was it like to be um, in that moment and share such a special day with him? We are live from Bank of America Stadium where the Clemson Tigers just defeated the North Carolina Tar Heels 45-37, earning that ACC championship title. You mentioned Lemonis. He had a 30-point night. His previous career high was 27. And he actually joked after the game about the height advantage, maybe saying it was just because high point was a little bit shorter. I think you're kind of shutting down the experts right there that are picking him to win over you. So if you can go into a little bit more detail, why would these people pick Whoa. that? Of course, Arizona did kind of help him out turning the ball over seven times. But you know what? We'll give the Panthers defense credit. Fans here think that I'm from Kentucky because I accidentally wore blue. I just had to kick out some Kentucky fans telling them I'm about to do a live shot. And I'm from South Carolina. So sorry, Gamecock fans. You know I'm here for South Carolina. <laughs> but the story of the day He's giggling about those of pants. 2016. Yes. The pants. Those pants. Pants watch. What if he eats a big yeah. lunch, you know? Like, 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 this. like, spread, like our spread. <laughs> I'm actually joined by security officer Cody Victory. That is his real last name, and that's a good sign for the Gamecocks. Panther Nation thinks that Cam Newton should be the NFL MVP. They were even chanting those three letters as he took a look at that NFC title trophy. Greg says Ammon's been a mentor to him, leaving him encouraging notes in his locker, even though Greg has become the go-to guy. In studio, Courtney King, Watch Fox Sports.